friends, welcome to our pizza making party. Um, I'm going to make some homemade dough. I have special ingredients to do this. I sent uh, parents a recipe. Um, you can use store-bought dough or you can use the recipe to make it or anything that you want to make it with, okay? So I'm the equipment I'm using here is an electric mixer, um, a stand mixer. So you wouldn't want to use electric hand mixer because it's just not tough enough to handle dough. You would burn the motor out. Uh, so this is ideal for that, or you can do it by hand. And you can put your ingredients in and you can mix by hand and you can even knead it by hand in a bowl. We've done that in the classroom many times. I usually make dough ahead of time to bring in so we can get started on our pizza. And then I let the children watch how, watch it. they help me and measure things in and, and make our dough. And then, uh, knead it inside there. So it works either way. So the first thing I did was put my hair up so I don't get any hair in the food and then I washed my hands. Okay, I do that whether, no matter what meal I'm making, it's just a habit. I always do it because uh, it's good to uh, have good hygiene when we're preparing food. Okay, so I'm going to use, this is my dough hook that's going to go in that bowl. And the first thing I'm going to do here is uh, check my water temperature. So it's saying it wants it to be between 120 and 130 degrees. So my thermometer tells me I've reached that and I'm going to pour in two thirds of a cup. So I'm doing it this way, but you really should, after you pour, put it on a table because it, sometimes you think that you have the right amount and you don't. So when it's flat, it reads just the way you need it. Okay, that's perfect. All right, so I'm gonna put this aside because I might need to add a little extra water. I've also added a little bit of olive oil to my bowl. I'm gonna put the dough in there after. Olive oil also goes in. So the first thing my recipe is telling me to do is to add one cup of flour. I've already made um, one thing of dough, so I'm going to make another one. That's why my things look like they were used. So I have one cup of flour, and I'm using one package of instant or quick rise yeast, okay? Normally when you're making bread, you use what's called a double process of yeast, where it has to rise more than one time. So in the case of uh, this pizza recipe, it only, it takes instant yeast, so it goes very quickly. So I'm pouring that on, and then I also want to put in some sugar. So not because we're trying to sweeten the dough, Sugar helps uh, for, to feed the yeast, it makes it grow. It feeds it and makes it increase a little. So about a teaspoon and a half of that. Okay, and then it wants the water in here. So I'm gonna pour that in, and I will show you that I just have like a gloopy mess in here. I'm gonna spin it around a little by my hand. Um, I could use the spatula to just stir it around a little bit to incorporate it and then I'm gonna put it on the mixer, okay? So it's very pasty looking right now. Now I'm gonna use this spatula while I'm doing this because sometimes the flour is on the side and I need it to incorporate. Okay, so I'm gonna put it on my mixer. And my mixer is, it doesn't, the head doesn't lift up, it, it lifts this way, okay? So I'm going to put the dough hook in. These mixers come with different attachments. The dough hook is what you would use for that. And it's just turning around and around. And this is supposed to happen for about a minute. So in the meantime, um, I put the oil in my bowl. And I don't need to spread it around because once I put the dough in, that's going to happen uh, automatically. And I'll show you how to do that. Try to keep your hands keep a little bit clean. So. Of course we want to put salt in our dough, but we're not going to do that until it's time to add the, the remaining flour because salt is not a friend to yeast, sugar is. Salt might kill the yeast and it won't actually rise up, okay? So we're, we're going to make sure we don't do that. So this is going about halfway and I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to scrape down the sides some of the flour is not completely incorporated so I'm going to help it out a little bit but I really want to make sure I turn the mixer off don't ever try to stick things in while the mixer's turning it's tempting to do but 
that mixer, you know, it's it's very powerful and you could break a utensil, you could hurt your hand, or you could ruin what you're making. So it's really not worth it. Just follow the directions. You have to follow safety when you're cooking. All right, so I'll give that a few more seconds. So my dough hook, because there's not a lot in here, is barely touching the bottom. That's why I needed to use my spatula in there. Okay. So I'm going to move this around again to make sure it's all incorporated. And it looks pretty good. It's like, it looks like paste smell the yeast. So what's happening is the sugar is now working with the yeast to help that yeast grow. And yeast is something we use, it's fermented, and what it does is it creates, it helps the, the, uh, the entire thing rise and grow. It's like, a, it's a chemical reaction, it's very cool. Baking is a science. Cooking is an art and baking is a science. All right, so I'm going to add my additional cup and I also needed to put in some olive oil, so it's a couple of spoons. I use this, it's easy. I could add a little more if I need it. And then I'm going to add in about a half a cup. And then I'm going to put the salt in this half cup. And I usually use uh, two spoons of, sh of salt because salt like pot, I mean dough like pasta, requires a little more salt or else it tastes very flat. Okay, so I'm going to mix that around a little bit, and I'm going to add this one in. Okay, remember my machine is off. I wouldn't dare try to add things in while it's on. It's not safe. Okay, so now this machine is going to do all the work. If we were doing this by hand, at this point now, I would be moving my hand around and trying to get that all together. And it would be a lot of work. It's not impossible, but this is much easier. These machines are very powerful. They do all the kneading for us and we'll get the dough perfectly ready for pizza. So it's on low right now. I'm just hoping that everything gets incorporated nicely and it's looking pretty good. So I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. And it's hard for you to see inside my bowl, but I can tell that things are going well because the flour is starting to pull away from the sides of the bowl. And we could also give that a little help with my spatula, but I'm just going to wait and let the mixer do some of the work. All right, that's looking good, so I'm going to stop here. I'm going to turn it off and make sure it's completely off. I'm taking my spatula, making a mess. And I'm just going to push some things down because the dough hook doesn't reach as well as a paddle, but that's what we need for bread and dough making. Okay. That's much better. See, it's now starting to pull everything together. Now, oftentimes when you're, you're making dough, at this point you can look and see if it needs a little help, and it might need a little bit of water, a little more moisture. So we don't want to overdo it. I'm just going to put a tiny bit in. And this is still warm from before when I, when I warmed it um, with the thermometer and checked the temperature. All right, this is looking better. What I'm trying to get is it to form into a ball. These are looking really good. So I'm gonna stop this. I'm gonna drop it down and take this off so I can show you what it's looking like now. So you see that? It's starting to pull together. If I move my hand, I could make that into a ball. But again, we use this machine because the machine does the work. Put this back on, and remember, I don't turn it on until my hands are away. So that's looking good. I can take a little more of this, just a little. 
Oh, this is looking really good. All right, so now it's really starting to pull together. And I'm going to turn the power up just a little bit more. And this hook is pulling it together and taking it apart and pulling it together and taking it apart. It's doing the kneading work that we would do if we were doing this by hand. Oh, this is looking good. It smells really good. I smell the olive oil, which I love to smell it. I smell the yeast. I can see the dough coming together. All right, this is looking great. My hands aren't in the way. I'm keeping safe. I don't want anything to happen. And I'll be honest, this happens to me every once in a while. It's looking so good though. I can tell by the sound, that clicking sound, that it's all in the ball and it's moving around. And it's really kneading it nicely. That's helping to um, incorporate all the gluten strands and get this ready to be a good pizza. So what starts to happen is, you can hear it slap against the side of the bowl, and that's how bakers know when doughs are ready, when they slap. So we're waiting to hear that, and that's going to happen very soon. It's so faint. I can hear it. I don't think you're going to be able to hear it on there. If I turn it a little higher, you'll hear it. Hear it? It's slapping against the sides. That means it's ready. sure it's stopped moving and I take the dough hook down and here I have a perfect ball of future pizza dough okay so I'm going to take this and I'm going to drop it in the bowl and I'm going to move the bowl around I think you can see if not I'll pick it up I'm moving it around to oil the sides this is only going to rise a little bit it doesn't require a complete rise like um, it does when you're making bread because this um, it uses instant yeast, so it's, it's a lot quicker process. All right, so I'm going to stop us right here, wash my hands, let this rest, and start. I'm going to make a second video, and that's where we're uh, preparing and making the pizza. Okay, so just let your pizza dough rest for a few minutes while you're grating your cheese, getting your spice mix ready, your sauce ready, and everything that you'll need. Okay?